you know, another young life was taken, successful guy trying to do the right thing in our community, and his life was taken. A lot of hugs and tears in South Philly tonight as the community mourns the loss of a young chef killed feet away from his job. Good evening, I'm Joe Holden. Quadir Flippin earned a positive reputation for himself by trying to tackle the violence plaguing the city. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Land spoke to some of his loved ones at a vigil tonight. Shante, we understand they are anxious for news of an arrest. Joe, homicide detectives are working to find Quadir Flippin's killer. Meanwhile, his family wants to know why. We're going to miss him, and this, this is definitely a tragedy. More than 100 balloons were released from South 24th and Federal Streets. That's where 31-year-old Quadir Flippin, a head chef at Black Seed Cafe in Point Breeze, was gunned down before opening the shop. A candlelight vigil was held by his relatives in his honor. The sad part about it is that about 30 or so years ago, his uncle got stabbed on the same corner. So, you know, in our family, this, this is like a, tra a tragic event. Hours earlier, at the same spot, city leaders and activists prayed. Today, Father, help us to march by faith. And a walk for peace for all victims of gun violence. Pop, so we can resolve these negative issues. So we can live in peace. 17th District Philadelphia Police Chaplains, City Councilman Kenyatta Johnson, who represents this area, and Philadelphia Anti Drug Anti Violence Network canvassed the Point Breeze neighborhood and handed out flyers during what they call a Peace Not Guns public safety walk. But I think it's good. It's good. It shows that everybody cares. Quadir Flippin, seen wearing a tan colored coat, sat on a panel for the mayor's office of blackmail engagement. He discussed his experience with entrepreneurship. He started his own catering business and named it Darlene's Kitchen after his late mother. Back at Flippin's vigil, his family just wants an arrest and to know why. It's sad to see this type of senseless violence take out such a beautiful person in the community. His funeral will be held tomorrow. Meanwhile, investigators say so far no suspects, motive, or arrests. Live outside of Philadelphia Police Headquarters, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Shante, thank you for that report.